Is the Jewish Messiah coming this year, 2022 to 2023? Or has he already even been revealed? There's quite a few things happening right now surrounding this subject of the revealing of the Jewish Messiah. That's what I'm going to get into in this video. I'll cover a rabbi who says he's currently in conversations with the Messiah. Then some Talmud prophecies that say that the Jewish Messiah is coming this year and the Russian-Ukraine war proves that. And lastly, a candidate that looks like he's gaining prominence in Israel that points to him potentially rising to the level of prominence that we will need to see to fulfill the prophecies of the false prophet and the Antichrist. First, I'm going to get into the rabbi who claims that he is talking and holding meetings with the Messiah already. This is from Israel Today, and the article says Israeli rabbi says he's already holding meetings with the Messiah. I'll read a little bit from this article and then get into the Talmud prophecies. A recent interview on Israeli radio featured prominent rabbis explaining that the Messiah is just about to reveal himself. Rabbi Yaakov Zischoltz told religious broadcast Radio 2000 that Rabbi Chaim Knivsky, who passed away earlier this year, had told him that Knivsky was already in direct contact with the Messiah. To understand why religious Jews are taking this seriously, it's important to know that Rabbi Chaim Knivsky was considered one of the two or three top rabbis in the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community in Israel. The article also says that Rabbi Zischoltz says that Knivsky and others of the mystical concealed rabbis had tasked him with informing the public of the Messiah's imminent arrival. A few mentions within the article about what point to their belief that the Messiah is coming. One is it says Rabbi Cook responded that when the Messiah arrives, the Sea of Galilee will be full. In a few weeks, the Sea of Galilee will be full for the first time since Rabbi Cook made this statement. Lastly, it says that a few rabbis from decades ago and some of Israel's most revered sages both predicted that Benjamin Netanyahu would be the state of Israel's last prime minister prior to the Messianic age. A great many, if not most, of the Orthodox Jews in Israel continue to believe that to be true, as Israel's last round of elections near November 1st of 2022, Netanyahu again looks poised for victory. So as we see many of the Jewish peoples, the Orthodox Jewish people's beliefs of the coming Messiah are not just taken from what we Christians believe in the Old Testament prophecies that pointed to Jesus, but they have many of these other Talmud prophecies and some of these sages and these rabbis coming up with their own prophecies that point to a messianic age because they reject Jesus as the true Christ. And some of these prophecies are within the Talmud, which is a central text of rabbinical Judaism, and it's a primary source of religious law and Jewish theology. On March 31st, 2022, an article from Israel 365 News says, Talmudic prophecy reveals Russia-Ukraine war indicates Messiah's arrival as early as 2022. I'll read the most important parts of this article that point to what the rabbi is claiming here. And it says that the rabbi explains that the nation of Israel will experience redemption in the seventh year of the sabbatical year, which we are in right now. Furthermore, the rabbi adds that the war in Ukraine is happening in the months that are associated with redemption, Adar, which the Jewish people celebrate their redemption from the destruction during the holiday of Purim and Nisan in March and April, where the Jewish people celebrate the redemption from Egypt on the holiday of Passover. The Talmud says that the Jewish people will be redeemed in the seventh year in the sabbatical year. Not only are we in the sabbatical year, but we are in the three months of the year that are really geared for redemption. That's two months of Adar where the redemption of Purim occurred and the following month of Nisan where the redemption of Passover leaving Egypt occurred. Rabbi Richer explains that the Talmud prophesies wars in the seventh year and in the eighth year the Messiah will arrive. The Tractate of Derek Zuda in the 10th chapter, the first law, it says that there will be wars during the seventh year, specifically at the end of the seventh year. At the beginning of the eighth year, the Messiah of David will come to redeem the Jewish people, the Mashiach, the son of David. The rabbi explains that when the wars end in the seventh year, the Messiah, a descendant of David, arrives in the eighth year, September 2022, to September 2023. Here's the last quote of this article. It says that in the seventh year there are wars and that represents the beginning of redemption and then the Messiah comes. On the eve of the seventh year. So most of the commentaries say that there are of course two messiahs. There's the Messiah, the son of Joseph who fights the battles, who's the physical side of the redemption of the Jewish people and that happens during the seventh year, wars, etc. 
and then after the seventh year is over, the beginning of the eighth year, that is the Messiah of David. That's the first time that I've ever heard a reference to the Jewish people expecting or believing in two coming messiahs, but isn't that interesting with what we know from Bible prophecy of the Antichrist and the false prophet. Also worth noting, another rabbi claims in his book, Elim, when you see the nations inciting one another, challenging one another, threatening one another, be prepared for Mashiach. Very similar to what we hear and what we know from the words of Jesus in Matthew 24. In the end, there will be wars and rumors of wars, but see that you're not troubled, for the end is not yet, and these things must come to pass. Then the Antichrist comes. That's what Jesus, that's the guideline we have in the New Testament. Wars, rumors of wars, Antichrist. What we're hearing here from the law and the tradition of the Jewish people, according to the Talmud, it's wars and rumors of wars, then Messiah. Which leads to what may be the most interesting part of this video, which is the prominent rabbi who has been rising up in Israel over the past few years, Rabbi Rav Shalomo Yehuda. And this rabbi has been gaining a lot of prominence the past few years. He's actually considered the Yanuka, which is a person who rises up very rarely within generations, they say. That's how rare it is that some will rise up once every generation. And it's somebody who knows the Torah and understands the Torah way beyond what anyone else says. There's stories of him just sitting at the Western Wall, speaking of the Torah. They say he's melting into himself and just speaking the Torah so well that these people are just awestruck at his teaching and what he's saying. Now, I'm not going to claim that this guy is the Antichrist or the false prophet, but as people rise up in prominence in these different religions all around the world, even in America, if a so-called Christian were to rise up and was not living according to the Bible and looked as if he would potentially fulfill the prophecies of the Antichrist or the false prophet, I would make a video on him as well. So I'm not saying that this is what this guy is, but when people rise to prominence and they could potentially lead to fulfill these prophecies, then they're just looked at and evaluated. And what's strange about this guy, first off, the fact that he's the Yanuka and he has this profound level of understanding of the Torah, as well as there's a video from 2021 at the Western Wall. First off, as he's walking up to the Western Wall, he's being completely crowded and surrounded and really crushed by the public trying to get close to him. Pretty strange just seeing the public in awe of such a figure as him for just being a rabbi and he's so young and that's part of the thing of the Yanuka that he takes up to the Torah so young and there's picture of him here at the western wall in the little section where normally it's made for very high up rabbis who are normally very old who have been within the rabbinical order for a long time and they have this prominence and then here they let this Rav Shalomo Yehuda guy in and here they let him into this section of the western wall where normally they only allow very prominent rabbis in and as you can see all these people around watching him at the western wall praying at the western wall and you can even see I'll put up on the screen rabbis coming and kissing his hand these more prominent rabbis these older rabbis showing their respect to him. So just strange seeing such a young figure rise up to the level this man is. And then a more recent, just as of yesterday, October 19th, 2022, one of the most prominent rabbis from New York goes and visits Israel to go and visit the Yanuka for what reason? Giving him his blessing? I mean, the Israeli people are expecting a Messiah. They're expecting this person to come, this person to save them. And this person will take the world by storm. And when they take the, and when the Jewish Messiah comes, he will fulfill everything the Jewish people are looking for. When the Islamic Messiah comes, the El Mahdi, he will fulfill everything the Islamic people are looking for. So it's just very interesting to see when we actually have a Jewish figure, a prominent figure within the Jewish community, rising up, fulfilling this potential messianic expectation that the Jewish people are looking for. To bring it all to a conclusion, we just always need to look back to the biblical text. The Antichrist and the false prophet will, of course, need to fulfill the biblical prophecies of what we know they will do in the end. False signs and wonders will follow them. They will create a peace treaty that will eventually be broken. The Antichrist will push the mark of the beast, which will be the number of his name, which will equate 666. Clearly, it will not be some hidden coded thing. It will be clear as day. 
people will have to make this choice very willingly. It will not just be some hidden thing like someone accidentally took the mark. So the Antichrist will push the mark of the beast and both the Antichrist and the false prophet will be in complete opposition of Christianity and believing that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Now those qualities will probably not all appear at once. So that's why it's good to just keep an eye out when people are rising to prominence. But these are factors that we always have to look back on to be completely sure who the Antichrist or the false prophet is when they come on the scene has to be backed up by the Bible. So again, I'm not saying this guy is the Antichrist or the false prophet, but we have to look at prominent figures when they rise up. So who do you think the Antichrist will be? Where do you think he will come from? When do you think he'll come? You can leave that in the comments below. I have another video I posted recently about identifying the Antichrist. I'll put that up on the screen. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to God except through him. Thanks for watching and God bless.